Welcome everyone back to Commonwealth of Decay. So in previous uh, recordings, I had a question as to how the, the Commonwealth Decay infection uh, worked. If there was a, a setting that I missed in the mod or if I had to get to a certain level first. Uh, it turns out that some mods just don't play well with each other and um, don't allow a mod to do its full uh, full functions. So after uh, communicating back and forth with the with a with a developer, uh, it turns out that um, some of my mods were preventing it from doing the the main part of the of the Commonwealth decay, which was you know you get sick if you um, get struck by a zombie you know not a zombie correction by a feral um there's like a two percent chance that you could catch the disease uh also they have uh bloaters and the bloaters explode and they act like a, a glowing a glowing feral which shoot out a giant plume of the disease and you're like an 80% chance of catching disease if you uh, are within a certain amount of feet. If you're within his his eruption area. Um, so it turns out that I needed to start from scratch. So I needed to download a, a, a whole new um, one with basic mods that will work with... Um, with this particular mod um so anything that changed ferals into zombies and that uh would have totally messed with um the function or the basic premise of the commonwealth of decay mod so i started from scratch and started a whole new character, still named him Rick Grimes, uh, only with two M's this time. I, I went ahead and grinded out for uh, practically two days of just nonstop playing um, and finally got Sanctuary about to where I think what was the last episode. Uh, there were some minor changes. For instance, um, the the gates over here. I had left gates, thinking, "Oh, this is gonna be easy, so you get easy in and out." Um, but the settlers kept leaving the gates open, and there is a function that if your settlement is making too much noise, um, it will attract a horde. So with settlers leaving the gate open, some uh, ferals are just gonna walk right in. Um, I still haven't found a mod to make them close the gates. Uh, I took down the um, the food processor in that because now that we have so much food, uh, there's no need to uh, to do that to actually uh have to go through and do all of that plus we have the perk of uh lead belly and we open that up all the way so we don't take radiation from eating eating or drinking so i added this um this little uh sentry post to because the uh the hordes will come from over there oh and also um R.I.P. Codsworth. He was our first victim in one of our uh, hordes. And um, this game, everybody is mortal. So you could lose anybody and everybody. Um, 
So rest in peace, Codsworth. Um, what else? Uh, we still have Ada. I basically kept the same premise of, you know, keeping the picket gates here, uh, building the, the walkways, try to keep uh, the posting so it doesn't look like they're just floating. I added a lot more turrets um, around. So it, just about in every angle. Uh, let's see here. What else did I add? Um, oh, I I added a clinic. I was I was thinking of having that in there. Uh, this way, I don't have to go all the way to Drummond Diner or um, Sanctuary, and uh, not Sanctuary or uh, Diamond City, just in case I do catch the disease. Um, you only have twelve hours, and it'll it'll count down. If you don't get the cure within 12 hours, you're a dead man. Uh, so uh, I put a, a dock in here, and I, I also had found a, uh, around these days. a um, you Let's know, a Vault Tech uh, thing. So I want to make sure my doctor looks like a doctor. Uh, General Good, so he's going to sell my, he's going to take all my junk or give me junk based on what I need. Ada coming in for a drink. Uh, what else? Um, oh, I did expand the walkway. It used to end right about there, but I went ahead and expanded the walkway all the way over. Um, to, you know, to look over here, because, uh, ferals will come in through that gap, and over there, this big gap. I did, uh, I didn't build the vault, tech vault in that house as I did before uh, that was just a waste of steel and it would have the settlers wouldn't have gone in there anyhow so uh, what else what else oh there is um, there are uh, quests to rescue uh, rescue uh, survivors so you need to go in there uh, clear out uh, whatever is around there and then escort him to a settlement that's a that's a really neat thing that's a good way of getting settlers i do have uh i my last uh my last gameplay did have a mod and i'm not sure which mod it was that had the little radio to bring in um settlers i couldn't find it so it must have been in one of the mods that were not working well so I went ahead and added the recruitment. So we do um, have opportunity to re recruit more settlers. Um, also, you know, if you're, uh, let me, uh, I do, oh, and the door. I didn't know you could actually add a door to this walk, to this hall, to this door thing um i always thought you needed to uh build the the shaft uh door entrance and then put a door there but i saw somebody on another uh youtube channel put a door there and when i tried it voila there it is so um you could actually and i put a i put an iron one or a steel one you know give that little added protection um what i was going to show you here so with this it tells you which workshops are making too much noise uh what your noise count is so sanctuary is safe uh noise plus three power noise uh so people working on things turrets uh make 61 noise add them together you're at 64 and it so if your noise is below 20, you're safe from the horde. But if you have a strong defense, which Sanctuary does, it has a defense of 61 because of the turrets, it's safe. So if hostiles do come around then. Um, and I did open up a couple other workshops. I lost, uh, if you don't put enough defense, 
it can get overrun and taken back over by the hordes. So I lost Red Rocket, um, but I now have um, Abernathy Farm and I opened up Sunshine Tidings. Um, so those are the two other workshops. Um, so this would tell you if you open a workshop and you don't put enough put up enough defense the the third one down says workshop missing defense uh it would say one for instance um so that means you need to go to that workshop and build up the defense so you need to have a good strong defense uh to which it could be settlers it could be turrets um it could be any combination of both um and uh they will uh you know prevent from hordes coming and taking over um also i know that i had went into the institute and cleared that out that must have been part of a different mod because if you look at my map now um the institute is nowhere i even went into the cit ruins um but nothing i think uh there's something that has to be done in order to go into the the what do you call it the institute um so and that other mod also opened up you know a lot of other things like the railroad and um what was the other one i can't remember but uh so nuka world is still open i believe is so is still uh yeah far harbor um and then of course you would still need to go into vault 66 which was the other dlc and that's um I think that's somewhere around here um oh i also have a vertebrate so there was uh it was weird i'm building up uh i'm building up sanctuary and this guy comes in he says and his title is uh vertebrate pilot and he gave me a quest to go and uh find a working vertebrate so the the thought behind that is since you don't have the Brotherhood and you can't join the Brotherhood, you uh, you still need access to the Vertebrate. I found a Vertebrate that was still working like right up here, uh, just outside the map or just on the edge of the map. Um, so I do have uh, how many... How many uh, vertebrate things do I have? I have three. So it worked the same as the the Brotherhood ones. You throw it, he comes and gets you, and then you you go to any place that you've already discovered. You're not gonna um, fly off to the the other side of the map and discover other places, unless you happen to be flying over them to a place that you've already discovered, something like that. So that. That gameplay or mechanics are still in there. You, you can't, uh, you know, cheat and discover a place that you haven't physically walked to. Um, what else? I really think that is about it uh, as far as getting updates. So uh, we do have a quest to rescue a survivor from. Bed Benford Station, which to which is uh, out by the Ten Penny Settlement. Yeah, I think Ten, not Ten Penny. Oh. But that one settlement that Preston sends you to, high top hilltop, high, I don't know. Uh, but right over here, and it typically it's a it's a train station that full of ferals. 
So we're going to have to uh, venture over there and that'll give us another um, another uh, settler. So I believe we have enough beds. Let's see. Um, we have eight people currently. Our food is 42. So everybody's working food except for the the two people that are working my clinic and scavenging shop. Um, I only have the power for the recruitment beacon. My defense is 61. Uh, I would like to add more to it. Um, but you don't have the, uh, the raiders, uh, like you would in the base game. Uh, I ha but I have 10 beds, so that is, um, that's good to go. We are at 5 p.m., so it's, and they, they, um, you know, the, they're much stronger at night. I think it's, uh, Nightmare Night is the, is the mod that's put in there, so they come, they become much harder, much faster, and it's just a real pain to, uh, to kill, um, to kill a, a, a feral at night. I gotta, gotta get into the habit of stop calling them zombies. Uh, let's eat some food. There we go. Wash it down with some water. Mm, 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 good. And let's go ahead and, s oh, you know what? I think I have, what do I need to make the cure for the Commonwealth? I think it's under healing. Um, antibiotics, I mean, I need more glowing fungus. Okay, so there. Uh, you need medic, rank one, which I have. You need corpse fluid, and corpse fluid is... Uh, it's something that you would get from um, killing ferals, uh, but there's only like a 2% chance that it'll be on um, on the body. So it's, uh, you know, I think there was probably while I was building, building up sanctuary in that, I probably got something like two or three um, hordes come through and they're about I want to say 25 to 30 each horde so fortunately my uh, my, my turrets uh, did all the hard work um, I just had to go through and clean up some of them that were missing arms and legs but you have to you have to shoot them in the head steal uh to kill them so uh sh or stab them with a knife or something um to ensure that they are dead otherwise they'll just lay there and growl at you um so you need antiseptic corpse fluid i have enough just to make one so i'm gonna go ahead and make that and i'm going to store it so that if by any chance I get um, I get uh, infected again because I've been infected once already I just happened to be too close when a turret made a bloater explode and I was within his uh, I was within his um, radius all right, so let me leave this here. I probably should put it in a safe or something, right? Um, am I carrying anything we don't need? Hub flower. Um, yeah, let's store our junk. Some of the weapons that we had uh, received from um, the uh, 
other playthrough we never got you know uh, so we'll just have to get them again no big deal it's it doesn't um, it doesn't hurt anybody you start from scratch again so it's, let's get a good 12 hours in Probably should um, build out some more ten millimeter because I believe we're running really low. Let's see how many. What do we need? Oh, we're out of gunpowder. Okay, so we have plenty of fertilizer and acid. So make um. Make a thousand of those and how many cases do we have we have 282 so let's make a f whoa we're out of primer should have looked at it let's bring our copper down to 75 okay Uh, cases are good. Gunpowder 988. Primer 200. Process lead 200. Um, can I make some more process lead? I should. Just to ensure that we don't have to stop again. Okay. Oh! Making cases. I don't want to make cases. I want to construct. <laughs> Just make as many 10 millimeters as we can. Okay, now we're all out. How many, how many do we have now? 268, not great. Um, but, oh, we found this uh, recoil comp compensant uh, bow, so that's nice. Um, but we only have like three shots with it. Two. Can I make? What is it? Uh, what kind of ammo does it take? Forty-five encased bolt. Okay, so it's almost like shooting a forty-five gun. Forty-five caliber. Do I have? No, I need gun nut four. Okay, so you know what? We got two shots. Let's just go ahead and leave it because it's not worth carrying around. I think it's how much is it weighing? Eight pounds. So that's that's eight pounds we could save. So let's go ahead and uh, store that and uh, move the yeah, move all this over. And where's the... Weapon, where's the ammo for it? There it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and move these bolts over. All right, so we got enough ammo for the spitter, enough ammo for the overseer's freezer, the Hellfire and 10 millimeter. So we will um, we'll make the attempt now. Let's go ahead and set a save. Okay, I probably, I mean, I have two turrets up there. 
Once I gather some more stuff, I'll put some turrets up there. Maybe build a little um, guard shack just like sitting here, looking out over there. And then put some uh, turrets here on top of the here on top of the thing. Oh, the only other thing that I could not figure out was uh, the stalkers, uh, and I was able to um, change them before to uh, be random, but I could not find that setting. Um, in the new in the new gameplay so they're all gonna be ferals uh but they're a little bit different because they will run no matter if it's day or night um and they will do the jumping swinging so oh what the fuck the hell did i just do Well, there goes one Molotov. That's not a good way to start off the the episode. Okay. Um, have they? Have any of them responded? So they keep coming in here. And when I did have Red Rocket, I did the, so the idea was that, uh, yeah, I killed them in there. Uh, the idea was to prevent them from coming in and I had turrets here. So I put the, the items in front of the doors and I put everything inside not realizing I was going to um, lose the function. So if I try to hold down the workshop, nothing. So I don't have red rocket. So now, and I can't even get in to claim it. Um, there's no way to break these or destroy. Oh, there's, there's a ladle. Break them or or do something to um, move them to the side, you know. Which is great when it's your settlement, but when you are uh, oh, where am I going? I am going here, so I need to go around. Um. It's great when it's your settlement and nobody could go in there, but when the pharaohs spawn inside in the little workshop area, uh, and now you can't access it, you are RxSOL. Okay, so I want to go down to the left of Concord. Okay, the blood bugs are back. Oh. Where's your buddy go? Where'd your buddy go? See him over there somewhere. Oh great, hunters are stalking me. And I think they will spawn in here. Let me fall back. Here they come. Oh, look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a few of them. Okay, you're gonna come follow me, buddies? Come on. All right, here we come. So let's go over here. Um, I talked about putting 
more turrets here so let's go ahead and do that I think I might have enough There they come. Come and get it. There they come running. No, not you, not you. Get the one in front. Oh, he's dead already, that's why. Um, can we take out your legs? I think they could still run if you take their legs out. Uh, it was either you or me. I choose you. Let's go ahead and... Huh? Oh, here they come. Sorry. Should've just run. Should've just run. See, the hunters are now... They started off as, you know, being two or three. Now they're coming up to be almost a horde. Uh, so this is the importance of um, having settlements with strong defense. And uh, in case you, you need to run, um, run and hide, you, uh, you got some defense backing you up. Okay. Got one over here that's just outside of. Okay, you're too heavy. Okay, so let me go back to a silenced weapon. Okay, that was exciting. I always have to check over here because I don't know when they're going to spawn over here. Now, my understanding from um, reading up on the mod is that uh, you can hack with, without... Um, Without uh, taking robotic expert, you can hack uh, just about any any of the robots to. Uh, well, I'll take the meat um, to be a companion. Um, so that's interesting. I was thinking I wonder if that works on the sentry bot there at the the robotic um, disposal I think it is and uh, you know you imagine having a sentry bot as a uh, companion uh, They are tight quarters. They're not really great, but open spaces um, with their rockets and their and their miniguns and that they are they are somebody's looking for me. They are tough cookies. 
Okay, now I believe that there is a um, camp over here, which has different spawn um, in that, in the base game. But i um, assuming all of them have been converted to feral, so we'll try to avoid that. I'm only counting two, but... If it, you know, that's, uh, that's like... Ammunition we do not need to spend. Okay, I think there's blood bugs. There's, ooh. What do we got over here? Bloaters? No. Okay, we'll leave them be then. I think there might be some. What's oh, oh. What's here in back it thicket? I don't see anything. I know in the base game, oh, okay, there's something and something, right? In the base game, it's Mirelurks and Raiders, but, um, okay, let's go ahead and avoid them for now. Gonna try and get down from this rock without getting too close to that group. Let's go back to. We don't want to get the hellfire because we, if we're too close, the hellfire will will kill us and send us to hell. There's probably like a blunt bug or something in this water. I think there normally is. Oh. Okay. This is going to be... Oh, yeah. Somebody's looking for me. This is going to be a tough one. What is this over here? That's another um, spawn point, camping area. Oh yeah, there we go. Don't see any bloaters or anything. We'll leave those. We'll leave those be as well. I'm tempted to take over this um, this uh, settlement. And then bring the the rescue person there. Um, let's just go in and save him. Do a quick save. We're gonna go in and save him, and um, I wanna keep an eye out what's going on around us. Uh, we'll save him first. And then, um, if we die, then we'll take the... Okay, I see some rag stags up there. Okay, this is a great gun, but the problem is that the explosion and the fire causes more... Um, what's this? Oh, now I'm in caution. Who has seen me? Oh. Get you. 
And your pretty friend, too. Come on, kill him already. Got me with the rads. Give me your giblets. Okay, so that was ammunition we could have been using. Killing killing the ferals. Alright, so we got two. Typically I think there is in the base game like four, but if you make too much noise, the ones from further down the line are gonna come and attack you. So don't want that. Don't know where he is. Are you gonna stand still? Damn, I'm gonna have to shoot you in your back. Okay, there's the other one. Oh shit. All right, uh, hellfire time. One is a legendary red skull, I think it was. I go ahead and shoot the ground. And that will typically cripple them. That piss anybody else off. Yeah, that pisses you off. Okay, so they're not done. But they're crippled. Oh, let's come over here. Stab it, stab it. Oh shit. I didn't realize that um, I missed one. No, not him. One in front of me. Here. Take some shots to the head. Back up. Make sure I'm not backing up into... Another horde or something. Okay, so I'm in caution. Uh, who is still... Alive and mad at me. You are stabby stabby. Okay, I'm still in danger. Why am I still in danger? Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Ah! Oh! Bad time to reload. Bad time to reload. Good thing for that. Anybody else want to come? Anybody else want to come say hello? I think I may have brought some people from, brought some of them from over down the, down the line. Okay, let's see if, collect their death tags. 
Is he? Where is he? He's is he in the office? Take the hide. Take the meat. Feed it to the settlers. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got one here. Hiding between the rocks. <laughs> Damn things get the shit out of me. I'm in caution. Does he see me? He did. Fortunately, I, I saw him first. Oh, you got a little sleepy head over here. Oh, another one. Things blow up all the time. It's nothing to come and investigate. You guys stay over there. Where is he? He further down the line? Damn it, I was hoping he'd be right like in here. Chillin'. Yeah, I think we... Uh, we can loot some things in here, anyhow. Close this door. Got all things hiding in the back. Um, let's see, what else? What can we pick up? Anything? Oh, a fan. We can always get a fan. Pen, some cigarettes. Ashtray. Okay, let's check this here. What do we got? We got some 45 rounds, some 50 cal. Oh, a bayoneted light combat sniper rifle. Okay, let's take it. Some frag grenades. Um. Okay, can we carry it? I think we carry it. Yeah, we could carry it. Oh, you know what? He's probably in that little... I see the little marker moving back and forth. I wonder... Is he up in there? I think he might be up in there. I don't see anybody moving around up there. All right. Let's slowly move out. Um, can we carry this? We always, we can always enjoy some more um, concrete. Oh, he's in here moving around, just walking around. Not, you know, taking shelter or anything. Is this guy here a dead? Is he dead or alive? Typically they're alive when they're doing that. Yep, see, I told you. Don't attack me, attack him! Okay. Hey! Okay. Yes? Alright. Um, let me see if the... Stash is still here. 
Yeah, we could pick up some rounds, some cram, mm -mm, cram. Oh, a dirty blue suit. Okay. Um, metal armor, padded rags. Okay. What about? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and talk to him. Hi, how are you? Hey there. You're gonna help me now, right? No, give me all your stuff. <laughs> this is a sticker. Um, we're gonna cheat a little bit and have a fast travel point and just fast travel back to Sanctuary. Huh? Okay. Now we now we talk to him. Oh, you have no idea what a relief this is. I can't thank you enough. Alright, now we have another survivor. Another, um... And we're gonna put him... To work. There we go. And... How much room do we have? We have four people? Uh, I thought we had more than four people. Okay. Um, great. Now, what are we gonna do? What do we have? to do um look at our quest line so if we go do Voltex little secret gotta go back into Cor Vega um which they uh you know Feralds have probably respawned by now and um, I try. I, I don't really want to um, do too much of that. Okay, what is this uh, bobby pin? We could craft bobby pins. Where do we gotta go? Grey Garden. Oh, okay. Let's go to Grey Garden then. Um. I don't believe this is one of my settlements anymore because I didn't put any defense or nothing and um, there's probably gonna be a horde so we're gonna have to take it super super easy um, we could come across to Abernathy, then come down to Sunshine, and then come across. Or probably one of the safest things is just come down to Drummond, and then take the the road, and you know scoot scoot up that way. So, um, I think that's probably one of the better routes. Here we're gonna kind of tiptoe, um, you know, with uh, some safety in between. But once we hit sunshine, it's all all bets are off, you know. Um, we still need to. Uh, Probably take over, uh, what is this one right here? Back, not back alley, um, take the little, the little, uh, settlement that's right here. Uh, I mean, the whole, the whole game is, the idea is to take over settlements, build up their defense. Uh, so basically you're playing... Uh, the entire line of the Minuteman without the gotta look for the Institute or 
my stolen son who turns out to be my dad or whatever. Um, let's see, what time is it? Uh, it's noon. Okay, so we could probably make it to Sunshine Tidings. Um, another uh, thing would be maybe the um, the drive-in. I am pretty sure that is going to be a huge um, a huge horde because it is a big round. But then in the base game, there is a. Uh, there's mole rats, so did they take the mole rats out and just leave uh, leave ferals? I don't know. And is it worth building up? Oh, what is this? Sanctuary is at 54 of 100, so I think that's bad. Close this door. Who are you? I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. Oh, look at you. You are hoarding. You're keeping caps from me. You're t keeping Kellogg's Red Flakes from me. Um, and a stem pack. I wonder if I should take the stem pack because if they're immortal, if they get hurt, they are going to use the stem pack, right? Um, that's, uh, that's, um, hmm. I have 23, so you know what? I'm just going to give it back to you. You keep your stem pack. What are you doing anyhow? Oh, you were unassigned. No, you ain't. Not no mo. Let's go ahead, um, yeah, let's have you work the taters. Okay. Who's a good boy? Um, da, 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 da. what else? What else? Okay, um, I think I think our noise level was pretty high. I think that was what that warning was. Let's see, let's check the um. We need help out here. Uh, Where the hell is everyone? This has been a pre-recorded message. Super duper Mart. Oh. Okay. That's gonna be a tough one. Um... It's all feral, so we don't have to worry about the raider with the fat man shooting us as we shoot, as we try to sneak into Super Duper Mart. But, um, the whole area is just swamped with ferals, and then they spawn more. Let's see, where are we at? Workshop defense is 71. Uh, no hostiles detected. Okay. I thought that's what it was warning us, saying we're being too loud. You're being, use your inside voice. All right, so super duper Mart, huh? Okay. Um, 
let's make some ammo before we head out. And I think we'll head out in the morning because I don't want to be out traveling at night. Okay, it's, uh, I've seen gameplay or at least um, in the demo of the game, uh, somebody walking around at night and they just, just got destroyed. Makes it a nightmare. All right, so we don't have enough processing lead. Probably don't have enough primer. Um, we should probably make gunpowder. So let's just make up all three. Because if we could do the 400 uh, 10 millimeter, then that will, that will help us get through. Okay, some primer. Process lab. Let's do another 500 gunpowder. More primer. More process lead. Um, We could always use it on any other web, any other ammo type. So let's just go ahead and keep doing that. Um, primer process lead is the only deciding factor. We need to keep our eyes out for pencils. Um, what else has lead in it? Uh, the um, the weightlifting, the, those, you need to look for those. Okay, so we have enough, uh, we have enough, um, let's see, construct, yeah. So, we have enough gunpowder, primer, and processing, so we should be able to make these. all that no I want to do it singly because it it seems to uh, use up less resources when you do the bulk it seems to take more take up more resources so let's do the individual it is a little bit of a pain to watch just gonna go until we run out it looks like primer is the first thing that's gonna be running out oh no processing lead we're almost there all right so yeah we made up uh, a lot so we're at 370 okay that makes me feel a little better <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where these folks, where the survivors going to be in the, um, inside of the super duper mart. I'm thinking that they are either going to be in the locked door to the left where you find the, uh, the dead Minuteman, or he's going to be in the um, in the basement where you find the other two dead minute men i don't think he's gonna be roaming around in the store with ferals and that um so hopefully we can utilize the robot to clear out uh, to clear out the majority of uh the pharaohs um we have the hellfire i don't want to use it in close quarters um 
but the the freezer does okay damage it slows them down a little bit more um, the spitter kind of melts them so that's the only downside to any of those okay um, let's go ahead actually you know what let's just sleep take some water get our thirst down and we are 130. Can we make it there before dark? We might be able to make it there and back before dark. But let's just be safe and do it in the morning. So uh, 12 hours is uh, 130 in the morning. 2.30, should do it. We get a, a early, early start to the day. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a nice, healthy, nutritious uh, death claw steak for breakfast. Oh, well, we need to drop this feral meat before we accidentally eat it. Let's drop the Brahmin meat, the blowfly, feral. We'll keep anything cooked, but. We don't want to keep uh, any raw meat because you can eat it, but it won't give you as much health and it will also um, gives you a higher chance of getting a disease. So we don't want, oh, it's a foggy day. I hate the foggy days. Um, so looking at the map we're gonna do this we're going to come down to abernathy we're gonna avoid lexington or concord can't avoid lexington we gotta go into it so um we're gonna hit abernathy then we're gonna cut across and come up drummond come down the street and then uh cut across the back of the uh, parking lot and then come in between the building in the parking lot and sneak our way in that way that should be the safest road um, but with this fog I'm not going to really see any hordes too far. Too far in the distance. Okay. Probably one thing I should do once I get... I'll have to check to see if I have... What is this? Oh, this the guy the over there. Defense administration has declared an emergency condition. There is extreme risk of death from decay. It is transmitted by touch and contact. Martial law is in force. Remain where you are. Keep listening for additional broadcasts and updates. Yeah, buddy, keep quiet. You're gonna draw attention. I think you can oh, shut up man you're gonna draw attention be quiet okay somebody's looking for me I saw my my sneak meter shuffle
Okay, it's a blow, it's a blow fi. I'm trying to uh, live by the gameplay rule. Don't bother me. I won't bother you. At least when it comes to like, oh, I, for, I always forget about this darn thing. All right, we'll get some ammo. Ooh, an advanced muzzled 10 miller beta. Yeah, we'll take that. And we'll take that. We'll break it down. I'm hoping that's just a fly that's looking for me. Okay, the recruitment settlement signal is gone. Okay. Oh, I was uh, going the wrong damn direction. Completely missed my farm. Yeah, don't shoot me, gun. Don't shoot me. You see me. Don't shoot me. Oh, and also, uh, R.I.P. Betsy and um, and also uh, Mr. Whis Mr. Whiskers. How do I get rid of this damn thing? Can I shoot it? I can get rid of that damn thing. I didn't realize I could shoot it. I don't need any more radiation. Um, let's transfer it. What do I got in here? Oh, you know what? This mod does uh, link. Um, once you take over a settlement and once it's yours, uh, it will link them, them together. So uh, it's kind of like when you have uh, the, um, the perk... Um, the a perk where you could put traders from from in from settlement to settlement you don't need to actually um put the traders now they will uh it automatically links which is kind of nice i'm not sure if it's a uh oh i forgot we picked that up the bayoneted uh light sniper okay um i want to give that a shot takes 45 ammo do I have any 45 ammo or did I um... I may have broken it all down hey let's take these rounds what why do we have rounds here let's take these ones too we don't have a shotgun anymore so can't carry on shotgun shells um... I don't know if I put a recruitment here or not. I don't believe I did. Take that. Take that. Um, ammo. So we have plenty of turrets. Um, I'm thinking about sleeping this fog away i don't like traveling too much in the fog we sleep for an hour still foggy all right i don't want to get out too late sorry mr whiskers and betsy Okay, uh, let's go on down here, 
to um, to the road. What? Abernathy is making too much noise. Are you going to bring the horde in? Bring it. Bring it on. I want to put my turrets to work. No? Okay. Okay. I won't start to worry until I hit caution. Got some rag stags, that's fine. Am I in danger from the rag stag? Don't make your noise at me. You know what? Make you run. See, I was just going to let you guys chill out. Oh. Ooh, a targeting crossbow. What is that? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it just to... just to see. Well, we can take all of your stuff. Yeah, you keep running from me. I think there's some dogs around here or something. Keep missing. Okay, there's Concord. Worski's cabin is there. Well, now I'm still in danger. Where am I in danger from? Who has me in danger? Caution. Okay, better, better. Okay. Had me holding my breath there for a minute. hidden. Nice. We got, we did get hit, didn't we? Oh, I thought we did. 
I was checking to see if we... I thought we got hit earlier. I just forgot to check to see if I have um, the disease or not. I don't want to be a feral. I'm assuming that is from the robots, not any ferals around. Okay. And uh, I think there's a. Um... Yeah. Some stim packs. Nice. Okay. We did run into a pack over here at one time. Stay away from the house. That's a spawn point, so I'm sure that uh, barrels are gonna spawn in there. We don't want any of them touching us because, um, yuck. You guys don't see nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna come down here a little bit. Break a uh, line of sight. Okay. Go ahead and drop your comments now. We're taking odds. Oh shit. There's a whole group of them over there. Um, is this survivor in the, um, in the office to the left where you normally would find a dead Minuteman or is he going to be, uh, in the back alley? where you uh, normally find the other um, dead minute man. The only other dead minute man is uh, like in the back um, area. And uh, I see a bloater over there, so I'm not going to mess with these guys. Uh, there is, um, but that's in like the back storage area. Um, and I highly doubt that he's going to be back in there. So we're taking odds. Three to one. He's in the, um, he's in the basement. And, uh, five to six, he, uh, five will get you. I'm sorry. I'm thinking craps. Um, I'm going to check the back alley. The back way. I think I could hack that uh, terminal. Um, and uh, three will get... Three to one odds on the... Um, on the back here. The warehouse. And... Um, even odds in in the uh, back uh, office. Okay. Well, all of those of you who selected the um, the back area, you you lost because um, the little indication says you got to go into the store. So that's a bust. So now the um, the chances of him being in the 
back little office to the far left in the back. Um, I think that's where he will be. I highly doubt that he's going to be in the in the back storage area. But um, you never know. I believe these these uh, their spawn points for the survivors are random, so okay. Let's go ahead, drop a save, so we don't need to make that long ass walk again. Okay, so the plan, we're going to sneak in. What is our sneak level, anyhow? We have a lot of points, so we could drop them in. Okay, so sneak, we are at level three. Um, I don't think there's really a reason to go any higher than that. Um, I don't know if we need any other points. Nothing useful now. We'll, we'll see if we need points for or perks for building different items, especially with the uh, with the Project X mod. You need to have certain kind of perks in order to build an item. Okay, so far, so good. Um, I know there's some oil up here. And I want to see how we doing. 194. Ooh, I think the oils weigh probably about five each. Pencil, yes. We'll always grab pencils. Plus, they don't weigh anything. How much does Mr. Handy fuel weigh? Oh, got like a chunk. Three pounds each. I was thinking there were five. Okay. I think there's three more. Three, six, nine. So a total of 12. We could do that. So our weight now is 206. Of 245. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay. I hope they're not all awake. No. They are not. Okay. Hopefully. Mr. Robot here. Okay. The ones right here are all dead. Hopefully Mr. Robot will be able to um, clear them out. Um, yep. If we're looking at where the marker is, he's in there in the back to the left. So. So I won. Give me all your money. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead. Yeah. People are noticing my noise. Okay. Let's go ahead and hack this. Okay, it's not sung. Is it push? Not push. And is it zone? It's not zone. Okay, so let's back out. <coughs> Get through. There we go. All right, so let's pop open the safe first. Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and turn on Mr. Roboto. And then we will let him clear out as much of the hostels as we possibly can. Let's see what's in here. Got some rounds. Got some monies. And a silver locket. With a picture of your sweetie in it. Okay, come on, Mr. Roboto. Once it gets closer to the back area, that's when they all get alive. And then hopefully he will make them um, unalive. Yeah, he's coming up on his first feral. There you go. Take that one out. Take that one out. There you go. You got it. Come on. You got it, buddy. I don't know why you want to keep trying to uh, give him a big hug. Shoot him. Just shoot him with your laser. There you go. There you go. Now you're cooking with gas. Yeah, there's a whole bunch more in that back office, so he was probably gonna get swarmed in a minute. But then again, they may have cleared it out because um, there's a survivor here. Whoa! He just appeared over there. Okay, come on. Let me uh, activate these ones. There you go. Okay, where did homie go? Okay, let me command you. No, it's not command. Let's talk. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. No, I can't talk. Oh, there he is. Let me talk to you. Hey, you're gonna help me now, right? All right, so we need robotic expert in order to hack them. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's um, get out of here. Before we get more... Oh, more things show up. Okay. And we're not going to take the chance of this guy dying on us. So we're going to do a fast travel. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to talk to you. Hey there. Oh, you have no idea what a relief this is. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, I know how you could thank me. You are going to work my fields. Put you to work.
Um, this just occurred to me. Um, would this be considered modern day slavery? You know, we rescue them from a bad situation and then we put them to work on our farm without pay. We just give them a place to sleep, some food, some water, some protection. I think that is slavery. Okay, um, now I am faced with a moral dilemma. Do I want to continue to have nice things at the cost of others and build my empire on the backs of disenfranchised um, survivors? Okay, maybe we'll have to stop doing the um, rescue missions for a bit, but, um, or you could look at it as uh, I'm giving them a, a safe place, um, food, water, protection, they're not going to um be mistreated or anything like that so not necessary um what are your thoughts be sure to put those in your comments is this slavery or no i look forward to reading your hateful comments in a bit <laughs> Um, well, we are just about an hour and a half, so I think we're going to stop it for now, and um, we'll pick it up again next time. I've been, I'm not, I'm not, I've not been. I am Guy, this is Gen X Gaming, and... The game we've been playing and enjoying is um, Commonwealth of Decay. Next time, we will explore more of the Commonwealth and try not to um, get the disease and die. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. And uh, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>